Hi everyone, first of all, uh, I am sorry because I am super sick today, so the presentation will be a little bit uh, not as well as I wouldn't like. So we are we are knitters, and my name is Pepita, and his name is Alberto. So what what did do? Um, we uh, started three years ago, and what we did is to take like the trend of the crafting and do-it-yourself revolution that it was very 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 hot in the United States, and it was just starting here in Europe. And we melt this with this generation that we share everything, everything we want to to share it immediately in Facebook, in Instagram. So with both of that trends, what the result is a successful startup called We Are Needers, and the model is this one. So what what do we do? What we do is to sell knitting kits for all the levels at for all the ages, all the kind of people, from beginners to advanced people. What we wanted to do is that he, we started here in Spain with very 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 small money and we wanted to shock the people because here in Spain we had like the impression that knitting was only for grandmas or pregnant people, mothers. And what we wanted is to shock it. So we are a mix between fashion and do-it-yourself company. We are very, very, very focused on the image. So people can see that in our website. And they say, ah, I want to make this. And they receive, they choose the color, following the, following the level, following the, the skills, and following their, their, what they like. So they receive all a knitting kit with everything you need to uh, knit the model that you have chosen. If you don't know how to knit or if you want to improve, you can go to our video tutorials. And the next thing that it happened, we didn't know it was going to be that, that we are knitters more than a, an e-commerce, more than an online brand. It's a big, big community. Now we have more than 2,000. Here is not, uh, we have more than 2,000 in Facebook. We are very, very, 20,000 in Instagram people when they receive it, what they want to do is to share it with their friends. They are very proud when they have finished it. So the first thing they do is that. So this allowed us with very small money to grow a lot. Uh, well, this is a little bit about the needy market that is a niche market, but is not that niche. It's a growing market. It's very, very huge in the US, in Germany. and. These are the economics. They are very good economics because we are a brand. Uh, it is a 56% margin after shipping. We ship to Germany, we ship to France, and we ship, of course, to Spain. So uh, the half, our surprise, it was that we were selling the knitting kit, but half, half of the people buy us only the supplies, which is great because it's only to put a wool yarn that comes from Peru to our warehouse here in Guadalajara, next to Madrid, and we ship it to the final customer. This is a little bit how to do, we do like the marketing and everything. And this is how we grew. We grew very, very, very fast. At the beginning, we were only Alberto and I for the, in 2011, 2012, we were only Alberto and I as well. And in 2013, we had some seed investment from Caviedes and other business angels. And we started growing a lot. Uh, and now in this year, we sell to, the thing is that we sell a lot to Germany, it's our second market. Now, is, this is not very, very actual, but uh, we sell 40% to Germany and 20% to France. So the knitters are great customers, they repeat it a lot, and uh, we, what we are going to do now is to take the community inside the website to push that social growth, and basically that's it. I think I don't have any more time, so this is the, the team, and that's it. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Alex, uh, co-founder and CTO of ParkUp. Uh, no, no, it doesn't work. No. Ah, okay, oh, wait. No? Four. Okay, I'm 
<laughs> okay, perfect. No. I'm Alex, a co-founder and CTO uh, of ParkUp. ParkUp is a company that will help uh, to change that will help to change the world of parking. Do you know how much an average rail ticket costs between Madrid and Seville? 36 euros. Do you know how much it costs to park in that train station for a week? 200 euros. <clears throat> Where to leave the car is one of the problems we face and often affect our budget. However, most 40% uh, of the car park places remain empty, returning no profit. We have the solution, an online parking system where users can find the best park offer that suits their needs and car parks advertise their offers to, to, to fill their empty spaces. Marketing in Spain, car park marketing in Spain is, is 1.1 million euros a year. Park, park in airports when catching a flight is common, and park in cities is growing, is growing, uh, is, is growing very fast. Park up started as a project one year ago, but three, but only three months ago, start to sell. During those three months, we have a big, a big increase. As you can see, we have a big increase, and now we have one of the largest, if not the largest, car park network in Spain. How do we do it? We have, our, our service is based on a web page, a mobile app, where users can find, compare, reserve, pay, and uh, access the, parking, the car parks with their mobile phone. We develop a backend and a hardware device, which, which is installed in the car parks to permit uh, or to allow open the barrier with the a mobile phone. Our business model is very simple. We only take a 10% commission of each transaction. Of course, if we are talking of such a large market, the competition, the competition it cannot be small. But now, ParkUp is the only service that can offer services in all types of car parks. Our competitive advantage are providing the wide park network of car parks in Spain, <laughs> or, or uh, an online service where design and usability are, are factors that set us apart, or technology access to enter the car parks, and park apps wide experience in the car park market. As we have said, we achieve a lot of things. but. But we, we believe that the market is looking for something to lead. And for this, we need focus on attracting users. Concentrated marketing in the next six months, we believe that ParkUp can be the booking.com of car parks. Thank you very much for your attention. And with ParkUp, one week in near, uh, near Atocha train station will cost 55 euros. Thank you very much. Our story begins with a telephone call from Almudena. She wanted to tell us about his father, Juan, an elderly man who suffered from Alzheimer, who one day disappeared. He was lost for two whole days. And when they found him, he was in a really bad condition. He was completely dehydrated with a big insulation and sunburned. Almudena immediately applied him a sample she had of our caviar cream. The next day, Juan's skin was completely perfect. I have no words to express the emotion I felt with that call. However, in the deep of my heart, I knew that this was a big coincidence. Maybe I should stop a bit. <laughs> Let me stop. One minute, please, or 30 seconds, <laughs> so you can hear me. It's getting interesting with this rain. <laughs> okay, maybe I can continue now. Okay. 
So what I was saying is that in the deep of my heart, <laughs> Do you hear me? Uh, did you hear me at the end? Yeah? Okay. Anyone getting wet? No? Okay. No, I don't think so. So, <laughs> as I was saying, once the skin was perfect, and I felt really emotion with that cold. But however, in the deep of my heart, I knew that that was a very big coincidence because our caviar cream is not a specific product for sunburned. So in that moment, I immediately think, how can I provoke this many more times? I want this to happen again, but I don't want any more coincidences. And this is the reason, and this is why and how we decided to start treating the skin of each, pe of each person in a special way, with customized cosmetics. We don't wear clothes this way, do we? Usually, clothes are adapted to our shape or our length. And why don't we do the same with creams? This is exactly what we are going to do, to do. tailor-made customized, tailor-made creams. How are we going to do that? <laughs> well, you seen, maybe I stop a bit again, please. <laughs> I've never done a speech like this, I can promise. <laughs> okay, sorry I will repeat again part of the story, but this is life. <laughs> again, our story begins with a telephone call. <laughs> Almudena, our client, told us about his father, Juan, who was an elderly man with Alzheimer. One day, suddenly, he disappeared, and he was lost for two whole days. When they found him, he was completely dehydrated with a big insulation and sunburned. Almudena immediately applied him one sample of our caviar cream, and his skin the next day was completely perfect. I can now explain how uh, my emotion with that call. But however, at that moment in time, in, my deep, in the deep of my heart, I knew that that was a very, a very big coincidence because our caviar cream is not a specific product for sunburn. This is the way we started to think that we should treat the skin of each person in a special way. I wanted to repeat that happening again. I didn't want to have any more coincidences. So this is how we started this project. We usually don't wear clothes this way, do we? When we buy clothes, clothes are adapted to our shape or our length. And the, and the question is, why don't we do the same with creams? This is exactly what we are going to do tailor-made cosmetics. And how are we going to do that? Well, the first step that we will take is with advanced technology, we will do a skin analysis of you. With that skin analysis, we will be able to determine the active ingredients, which are the main ingredients that your skin needs. And with that, of course, we will be able to manufacture a customized cream for you. And we will be able to do that just before your eyes. We will target any person who wants to take care of his skin in a special way because we are able to produce 
more than 30,000 different formulas. We will set up our own chain of skin management labs, such as this one, and skin management centers. And of course, our products will be available by internet as well. The size of our potential market is 800 million euro out of a total cosmetics market here in Spain of 8,000. Our main competitors are premium brands with non-customized cosmetics and other smaller, ma ma uh, sorry, smaller brands with a certain degree of customization in their products. But our competitive advantage is that our focus is the skin and the way we make clients feel. They feel special. Their focus is just the product. Our financials. We will be having 170 skin management centers and labs in 2016, with 14 million euro income and 4 million euro EBITDA. The way we will achieve that is with agreements with medical and aesthetic centers, with collaborations, with agencies, public relations events, collaborations with specialists, bloggers, and celebrities, of course, web positioning and social media. We have a fantastic team of five people, highly experienced in leading companies in the cosmetic sector. We have an average, uh, well, an experience between 10 and 20 years each in fields such as business and product development, communication, marketing and finance. Our main achievements so far are two. First of all, our innovative manufacturing process that makes our project scalable. And second, the excellent results we have achieved so far with the test of our customized cosmetics. Our main goal now is to open five skin management centers in Christmas this year. And what we are seeking is an investor who can provide us around 1 million euro with experience ideally in retail and cosmetics. And if he or she likes tailor-made products, much better. So get to know us, try us, and invest. If not you, who? If not now, when? Thank you. Okay. Have you seen a classical concert music recently? Or do you remember one? Think about what was on stage, how musicians played. Well, your memories will be practically identical to those that the audience had 200 years ago. Why? It's very simple. Here's a riddle. What's the difference between this image from 200 years ago and today's? Think about it. Color, only color, because both the instruments and the format of the scores have changed little in this time. And trust me, paper creates problems for musicians. You have to carry it, it becomes deteriorated with its use, you need suitable spaces for its storage. As a musician, I know how annoying it is to turn pages while you are playing. Well, my name is Ainoa from Blackbinder, and thanks to Blackbinder, we've turned the page. Through a comprehensive system of working with digital scores in tablets, Blackbinder facilitates the individual and collective work of musicians. Besides, with our technology pageless scrolling, we remove the pages. There are no pages, no more having to turn the page. We also open a new range of possibilities non-existent today, such as sharing annotation or synchronizing the display of the screen between components of, of the same group. This is log logically impossible to do with paper. You can also buy scores from publishers or use your own. Uh, you have a stand with pedals, but Blackbinder is not only an app. Blackbinder consists of four products which form an all-in system that changes the way people enjoy music. And is there anything similar on the market? You'd expect so, but there isn't. There are PDFs, online stores, application for displaying PDFs, but there isn't a comprehensive system that allows musicians to work with the scores from acquisition to final interpretations. It's true there are other projects emerging like ours who are working on it. And in these cases, our difference is the solution adopted. For example, we avoid dependence on the internet or the use of proprietary systems since our scores are standardized. 
Imagine what music moves around the world. For example, there are six million students in Europe alone, countless publishers, and the music score market is crazy. Well, Blackbinder will be fully functional for a single musician in January 2015, and the other tools that allow collective work in the first half. For commercialize and develop it, we need 700,000 euros between 2014 and 15. And as you can see, we expect a profit of about 300,000 euros in 2016. We are now six people in the team. We have been working for three years. We have some black binder, for example, at Music Messe in Germany, and we are amazed by everyone's interest. We are sure that our vision of a concert won't be the same for an audience in 50 years. And we are convinced that Blackbinder, the hands-free for score, is the innovation that will change the way people work in this sector worldwide. Others have turned page with us. Did you notice him? Four minutes. Four minutes without turning pages. Four minutes using his hands only to play. That's Blackbinder. We invite you to turn page with us. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. My name is Carlos Mateo, and I strongly believe that everybody should be free to choose his or her own destiny. That is why a few months ago, we left our jobs at 20 and founded Bcash, the first search engine for scholarships. And this is how it works. Since its launch only one month ago, Bcas has already helped more than 3,000 users achieve their goals. And all of this without any investment in advertising. We have this exponential growth because Bcas is not only a free service like Facebook or Google, we go even further being Bcas who brings money to the user. And the best of all is th this is a free service. It will never imply a cost. Okay? Bcas only gets a small fee when the user actually gets the scholarship. But Vikas is even more. We also have a university search engine that jointly with the user data allows us to offer the best marketing services to universities, halls, and schools. In this way, we have a 100% escalable, fast-growing, and very profitable business, making money from the day one. Bcas is a social project whose primary objective is to ensure equal opportunities. We help to increase the level of education and to reduce the unemployment and poverty rates. We want to encourage the mobility of students and help them to become whatever they want to be. Bcas is a flexible platform that will grow with its users, adding new services to satisfy their future needs. And the scholarship market is huge, with more than $40 billion. We want to continue growing to help more than 1.7 billion people around the world achieve their goals. If any of you would like to join us, please contact me. I will extend the information and answer any question that you may have. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Well, I guess we should start by thanking the English investors for the rain. Welcome to the south. Uh, but, uh, well, really, my name is Javier Agüera, and um, even though I live in California, 
I'm not very fond of this whole pitching to the VC stuff, but the reason I'm here is because a company I helped co-found a year and a half ago, uh, which is Neopic, um, has, uh, it's a profitable company, has been running for one year and a half, but we have just found a way that uh, we may change the way journalism and the media industries work. Um, I'm not going to go through this, you know, uh, the media industry is going through a great crisis and journalism, the way we used to know it, is mostly over. Uh, we are experts in the field and uh, we decided to tackle this uh, in a big master plan in two phases. Uh, we first created Neopic Pro uh, as a way to tackle one problem found in the industry, which was the connection between the content creators and the media outlets. There used to be for many, many years this... Uh, these media agencies, these content agencies that act as intermediaries with a very, very old technology that created many delays and a disconnection between the content creators and the media outlets. We created a big platform. Uh, it's an online marketplace that connects journalists and, and, uh, and content creators with, with those media outlets uh, with, uh, with uh, well, great technology uh, that validates the content and delivers it much, much faster than agencies like Reuters and Associated Press. This has been a success. We've been a uh, cover picture in all all media outlets in Spain, most, most, uh, most diaries, as you see in the picture, we have clients like Al Jazeera or The Guardian, but we face the, the truth that this model is not scalable. This model is simply not going to pay for the private jet that we just bought. It's, it's, uh, it's something that is not, not going to go anywhere. Uh, so we, say, we, we saw um, what's the big asset that we have. Well, the big asset is that we have a network of over... This importante evolución. Nuestros hábitos han cambiado. Desde que Internet es móvil nos hemos Anyways. acostumbrado a tenerlo todo al alcance de la mano. Pero Sorry. también ha llegado un nuevo problema, el exceso de información. Ahora más que nunca es necesario filtrar esa información para acceder solo a la que nos interesa, la de calidad. Por eso nace Neupi, el primer diario de suscripción al autor. Neupi une a los autores con sus seguidores, sin línea editorial, sin publicidad, sin intermediarios. Los artículos publicados en Neopic tienen un diseño pensado para satisfacer las necesidades de los lectores con textos de gran calidad, fotos y vídeos en alta definición. Para facilitar la experiencia de uso contamos con un sencillo menú en el que podemos buscar los artículos por autor y por temática. En la página de autores conviven desde firmas consagradas con una larga trayectoria a jóvenes que están empezando y que luchan por hacerse con un público propio. También podemos descubrir a los últimos autores que se han unido a Neupic y aquellos que han publicado historias recientemente. Al acceder al perfil de un autor podemos ver su descripción, sus artículos y suscribirnos para comenzar a recibir todas sus publicaciones. En la página de temas encontramos las diferentes categorías, entre las que podemos elegir aquellos artículos que más se adapten a nuestros gustos. Deja de perder el tiempo y únete a la revolución de los medios. Well, basically, they loaded the ground presentation, but it's okay. Uh, we discovered that the, our biggest asset was our, our network of over 2,000 content creators around the world in one, over 150 countries. We asked them, what's the problem? The problem is that there is a lot of noise between them and their readers, and they're not making any money. So we decided to create the first uh, online newspaper without intermediaries. We have, in Spain, over 100 signatures from, uh, well, Alfonso Susia, Herman Terch, to uh, Sánchez Drago, to all, all, the, all the big names that you know from all diaries. In fact, we have four times more big names than any other diary in Spain. We're launching uh, successfully. Uh, it's not going to go over again. The team is, is made by uh, the Usia brothers and me. It's the second company we make together. Uh, and a team of 10 people have been executing for over a year and a half. It's validated. Uh, our numbers people say that we're going to make around 11 million in revenue in two years. Uh, you will know how this works. Uh, the last company I founded with Alfonso uh, is zero now. It was supposed to be three million this year, but we crashed. Other company I founded was supposed to be 10 million this year, and it's 400 million. It's, it's black phone. So you never know how this ends. Uh, we believe that we're tackling the right, the right, the, the right sentence, and uh, well, we're looking for a partner. Uh, because we believe that we need someone else to make this bigger and, and faster than we'll do by ourselves. And if you're interested in talking, despite this terrible pitch, uh, just let us know. Thank you very much.